Hi everybody, Frank here. Welcome to my laboratory. Today I want to talk about chroma key. Now we have a few of the ATEM mini extremes out at the schools and uh, I want to show you how to do a simple chroma key background. Uh, some of the schools said, well, how can we adjust it so we don't have the fuzzy background? I'm going to show you how to do that too. So um, let's take a look and let's get started. But before we do, I want to show you something. If you'll notice behind me here, see the shadow on the green screen? And even back here, I've got a shadow. So what's key about, and if you excuse the pun, uh, on green screens is even lighting. Okay, I'm going to show you another green screen that I have behind on this wall. So let me switch over here. So here is my green screen behind me here, and you can see it's nice and even and well lit. So that's important, okay? That's in step number one. Now also, uh, we know that uh, a lot of the schools have curtains, uh, blue curtains, some have green curtains, some have black. But we can key on the blue and the green, but not the black. And the thing about keying on the curtains, is the problem is that they're fold, the folds. So in each of the folds, you've got a lot of dark spots. So we have been able to successfully do it, but we have to stretch the curtain out so it's as even as possible, okay? So that's, that's, uh, uh, that's why we do recommend that you have an even background. And a lot of the new schools, they're just painting the wall screen. No curtain at all. So we get rid of the folds. So we, and there have been some schools that actually just went out and bought paint, Home Depot, Lowe's, and got some bright green. There's no specific kind of green green but a bright green works really well and painted the walls bright green and that works too so let's get into it and I'll show you what I'm talking about so uh, first we're going to look at the software controller now this is important because this is where you do a lot of your setups so if you look over here these are four keys that we're going to be using first thing I'm going to do is over here in this area it says upstream key one that's the one we're going to work with there are actually four upstream keys <laughs> but we will be working with upstream key one now so um, here's where there's four tabs here there's luma tab chroma key tab pattern and DVE which is digital video effect and these are uh, uh, options that we'll, t we'll explore later but we don't really use the Luma key. That's more for black and white. So the Chrome key. Here's where we're going to have the tab open. And now you're going to see your settings. Here's your settings here. Now, I'm going to go and show you the begin. We're going to work on key number one. So what you have to do is you have to select what's called a fill source. So we're going to use camera one. And uh, here's my camera one. Here's the one we're going to be using with that really nice background. Uh, so let's go back to our deck here. Okay. So that's where you select your camera one, because if you do the drop down, you can, you can fill it with all other options too. Camera one. Now what we have to do is we have to select the chroma key, what's called a sample. The, the computer wants to know what color green you're going to be using. So it can do its, it, it can do its, its magic. So I'm going to click on here, it says chroma key sample. Now, um, what happens is this little box comes up. Over here is a little adjustment to make the, that box bigger or smaller. But that's about the good size right there. So what you need to do, and I know you can't see it, but it'll pop up in the preview screen. And what you do is you mouse over this little box and where the color is. You can turn it off. And now here are your adjustments. I want to show you how these work. First, I'm, what I'm going to do is going to turn, go over here and turn on the chroma key button right here and go on. Okay, well, obviously, you could see that there's fuzzy, right? So that, that is, needs to be adjusted. So here, I'm going to show you how to adjust that. Now, I'm actually going to make the adjustment, but you'll see it'll clear up. I'm going on what's called the key edge. So let me turn this off for a second. Here's where I'm going to adjust this thing here called key edge. And that's going to clean it up. Usually these don't do a whole lot, but let's try it. So I'm going to go back on here, and I know you can't see it, but you will. And I'm going to go on key edge, and I'm going to move it, move it, move it. Now you can, now you can see it moving now, right? And now look at the fuzzies getting cleaned up. So let's go 
clear. It's like, okay, that looks pretty good. So that looks pretty good. I don't see any more fuzzies. So I think we did it. Okay, now that we've done that, now here's where we say, well, okay, well, obviously I don't want that background. Now we can start choosing backgrounds. So I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to turn uh, uh, the key off so you can see what I'm doing. Over here, well, let me put, let me put this guy over here. There I am in, I'm in the corner now. <laughs> so what I'm going to do over here is we, have so, we can select some backgrounds. So right now I'm going to say, well, I want to look at either Media Player 1, Media Player 2, or actually have a video that we can play too if we want. So let's go, let's go back to the software, and I'm going to turn me off. Let's go back to Media, and here is where we have the software control for the Media Pool. Now, I have a lot of pictures in here. This is where you would load them, and I showed her, had another video where I showed you how to actually do that. So um, we have some here that I already put in. So for instance, here's Media Player 1, and here's Media Player 2. Uh, so I have a beach scene here, and I've got a weather here. So let's go back to the switch. Now let's turn our key back on again. Okay, well there I am. Now I'm going to say, well, I want Media Player 1 now in the background. So there, I'm at the beach. Sorry, guys. Uh, now, you can't see this right now, but I'm going to switch to Media Player 2 and say, oh, there I am. So I got stood here and say, well, today's weather partly cloudy and seasonable, and uh, I have 78. Just a sidebar, though, <laughs> if you do use graphics, I just got this off. I just got this online, Channel 5, and you can see up here it says First Alert. Channel. So I would recommend if you do get pictures from the news channels uh, and you show it, you just mention them. You know, I'm sure they won't mind, you know, cause, but it is their picture. So it has some copyright uh, uh, value to it. So I usually say, and today's weather brought to you by WPDT Channel 5, First Alert Weather. And the, today's weather is blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so uh, you'd say, well, okay, now I want to change the picture. So I want to put, remember I had the beach here and I had weather here. Well, there's another option I have. And I, I have a little rolling video here. Now I have that, and that's pretty cool. So now I'm stargazing. So one day at the beach, and the next thing you know, it's nighttime. Pretty cool. So let's go back to the beach. Now let's go back. I'm going to turn my, my key off. I'm going to go back to our software controller, back down to media. Say, no, I want to change that background. I want to put something else in the background. So here's where they, you know, I have different pictures. Here's like the library. Here's a sports picture. So I just changed them there. Now when I go back to the switch and I go back to my key, say, no, I want, I want to, I changed it to, oh, I'm in the library now. Uh, I come back to the beach. I get a little tan. So I'm in the library, so that's pretty cool. Let's go back, here's our stargaze. So now what happens is a couple times I've noticed that, uh, let's say the lighting changes or something like that. And now you come in the next day and you're like, oh, I'm fuzzy again, I don't know what happened. Uh, uh, I got all fuzzy. Well, a couple things could happen. The lighting could change. Maybe there's another shadow. It's a different person. So this is, this is how you correct it. You go back to the, let's see, let's pull this back up again. Remember, you go back to the panel, and let me turn my key off. And you're going to go over here and make your little adjustment, okay? So now let's go back in. You put the key back on so you can see what you're doing. And then I'm going to go to my key, and I'm going to move it again. See, it, it moved. But I got rid of the fuzzies. So it's much better, right? So now you can do your backgrounds, change them, video. And that's the simple way to do it. There's a lot more to other. And then there are other keys that you can do also. But that's for another video. So uh, keep stargazing. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And uh, 
I think you'll realize that it's really not that complicated once you get into it. And, and I do recommend that you're going to have a student on the uh, software control. And when we're setting up at your school, you're actually having a separate computer that does that. Then you've got the switch over here. So let's go back to the switch. I want to show you something too. Um, on the switch up here, there is a button for key one. So if I put that on, I could, you could key with the button and then change the background with your, with your software. So let's go back here. Where was I? Yeah, that's it. So if I turn that off, oh, wrong one. you can see that there's where the button is to that. So may seem a little, <laughs> may seem a little, what did he say? <laughs> but once you do it a couple times, you'll get it. I'm sure you will. Okay, well, enjoy your TV studios and uh, enjoy your students' excitement when they are able to play and do different things. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again on our next one.